guys welcome back to my channel if you are new thank you so much for joining us please do subscribe down below and join the squad if you are a returning subscriber welcome back be glad you could make it here to this video so in today's video is going to be the second episode of breaking it down and today's ingredient of discussion is settle alcohol now what is settle alcohol settle alcohol is a fatty alcohol and it looks like a thick waxy substance you're gonna find it in a lot of cosmetic products such as lotions, creams, conditioners, shampoos, you name it, it's probably got cetyl alcohol in it. Now there's other different types of fatty alcohols like sterile alcohol, cetyl alcohol, and rural alcohol. And they all do pretty much the same thing as cetyl alcohol, that's why I'm only talking about the one. Now, what does cetyl alcohol actually do? Cetyl alcohol does a number of things which I think is pretty cool. The first thing that it does is that it acts as an emulsifier and what emulsifiers do is they help keep liquids and oils together in a mixture. That way when you open your conditioner you don't have the separation with the oil on top and the rest of your conditioner at the bottom. There's always just one homogeneous continuous mixture and that's mainly because of cetyl alcohol. The second thing that it does is that it acts as an emollient and what emollients do is that they're going to help keep your hair and your skin soft then the third thing that it does which i think is the best thing is that it adds slip to your conditioner and when your conditioner has slip it makes detangling that much easier everybody's happy it's a good time so settle alcohol is the girl that she thinks she is now some of you might have been told to stay away from products that have alcohol in them because they're going to dry out your hair but what people don't tell you is what or what you don't see often rather is that there's alcohols that are okay for your hair and alcohols that are not okay for your hair so when people say stay away from products that have alcohol in them they're probably referring to hairsprays and hair gels which sometimes will contain isopropyl alcohol or denatured alcohol and those ones will sometimes dry out your hair and make it look dull but because cetyl alcohol is a fatty alcohol its chemical structure is different so it's going to behave differently and like I said before, it actually works to keep your hair soft and moisturized. So cetyl alcohol is not the alcohol you should be worried about. So that actually brings us to the end of this week's video. I know I'm kidding you guys with really short videos, but I promise you when I'm planning them out, I feel like this is going to be like a nice 10 minute video for people to watch. And then I edit and I have like five minutes. So this is probably also going to be a five minute video, but I actually think it's better that way so that you guys are still engaged with me whilst I'm explaining all of this and you guys don't get too overwhelmed with like the science and the nitty gritties of everything that I'll be talking about. So it's a win-win in my opinion. Anywho, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that I won't be doing the breaking it down episodes every week. I'm going to be, well from now on, I'm going to be interchanging them with some of the other content that I want to put on my channel. Main reason is because I don't want to bombard you guys with like educational hair stuff for the next six weeks. Like that's not cute. I want to do educational stuff and then the usual stuff that I put on my channel. That way I think you guys will look forward to a breaking it down episode. It's not like ah this one is back with a breaking it down episode. We don't want that so that brings us to the end of this week's breaking it down episode the next one will either be in two or three weeks depending on what i'm going to upload in between otherwise thank you so much for coming through guys please do subscribe down below if you haven't subscribed we are on the road to 400 I hope to get soon and i will see you guys in the next video